the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Listen, please hear me. You have to understand and believe what I'm teaching you. It's not about the altar in your village. Your grandfather was an innocent man who did he just entered the middle of an old story so satan created systems to make sure there is transgenerational allegiance they will stop rain and punish men who do not know neither will they understand so they will go to satan and say let rain come and let our children eat say here is the agreement i will send the rain remember he's a giver suddenly if he will get dominion an allegiance so the fathers on behalf of the land who say satan hunger is killing us through those mediums we will serve you they call him different names but he's the same person okay we will give you a deity worship this deity and the fathers came grandfathers will worship the deity and for as long as they worship the deity he will use the authority of man to bring rain the authority of man is what satan uses to bring rain listen carefully when people are sick when he finds out that people are not that allegiance is compromising there will be a widespread problem within the land and the elders will run back and the the priest or whatever medium can say i'm hungry you who are eating i've not eaten what do you want sir make sure your children come and worship me and you innocently they give birth to you you are shouting before you even know left and right they've made incisions on your body and made covenants and satan says that's right and then now you just stand before jesus and say i receive you as my lord and satan says what did you say do you know what that means that means you are saying from me oh everything that comes from me will no longer serve you and satan says you have drawn the line everything that is a threat to his allegiance he will fight it through men he will fight it through systems can i tell you this every please look up do you believe what i've taught you so far whether you are yoruba whether you are Igbo whether you are south south whether you are the caribbeans you are northern and you are spanish i don't care what region this story has brought all of us into one singular basket this is what satan wants he showed us what he wants and dead jesus don't think he'll be afraid of you he said jesus there is no need to go through all this rigor just bow let me tell you something happens to satan when you worship are you seeing what happens when you worship are you seeing why worship is powerful so he looks at you going down to your knees and says for who now and you begin to call his name jesus and he will say you know what afflict this man in a way that will make jesus not look like savior and when the affliction gets too much somebody will tell you there's somebody in the village and you will go and sit down and say i knew he was going to come hear me i'm teaching you what i'm teaching you because truly your freedom has come can i tell you this this is why songs that talk about surrender are so powerful because in doing that it is like it's the it's, it's a new salt satan says for millions of years can i tell you this do you know satan actually believes 
that the day is going to come when he will compel the entire creation to come under his lordship he really does it is only you who does not believe it satan is firing on all four cylinders he still believes he believes that all your family will serve him forget that you are so when he sees you listen every battle that you read in this bible came as a result of satan's perceiving it as a threat to his agenda when he killed children it was not about children he perceived they were saviors in the children when satan causes barrenness today satan does not need children satan he he can peep through the window of prophecy and hear when the holy spirit is speaking to you and say madam a prophet is going to come through your womb and he knows that that prophet will break a 150 year old idol practice he will bring the barrenness of zechariah and elizabeth was not about barrenness it was about john who will ordain jesus who will save the world please look at me god is giving us intelligence apostle i am a sincere person i don't steal i don't kill yet there is an attack on my business let me tell you interpret it now from the lens of who satan is interpret everything that happens in your life from the lens of who satan is not the lens of the village you are coming from that's too small not the lens of the mean it's not about you and your boss from a bigger picture your boss has no business with that he's only an available vessel everything satan will use to frustrate you until he brings you to a point of dominion and transgenerational allegiance hmm. i know this what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world satan can give you the whole world but he needs something your soul i'm not wasting your time i apologize i know our time is gone we're going to pray but please hear me now you can go back home and know that it's not about the problem that happened in your family it's not about what happened with your grandfather at all it's not even about what is happening between your father and your mother it's not about what is happening with your education satan does not need visas no it's not about your finances he has seen that your finances will do something that will threaten that agenda he will attach it with everything he has please look up my dear one it is not about marriage and children it is because he has seen that in it satan does not attack anything for itself he verifies is there a component in your lifting oh so you now become governor or you become head of parliament and in it many people will receive scholarships to go to good schools and there is a chapel there they will hear a man of god they will be filled with the holy spirit you will not win that election he will fight you what does satan want i will be like the most high i desire it everywhere you see satan he's obsessed with his image being erected and men bowing to the image he does not want animals when he came upon nebuchadnezzar he said let a 90 feet stature be built ah! but only a shoe will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no end there are thrones there are kingdoms there are mountains and there are thrones but only a shoe will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no end there are thrones there are thrones there are kingdoms there are 
for your adversary the devil like a roaring lion seeking for whom he may devour he said do not let satan take an advantage of you for we are not ignorant that there is an agenda when that agenda was in place your village was not even your village your nation was not even your nation there is an old story about an old serpent an old agenda not only a shoe will reign forever to your kingdom there'll be no end only a shoe will reign forever listen please don't miss any of this series this is just an introduction i will be sharing with you in the course of this series some of my encounters with the dark world and you will marvel and wonder where genuine spiritual authority comes from can i tell you this teaching you see and this series is one of the greatest dread of satan because the power of darkness is the absence of light when light comes now you are gaining perspective you can go back and say mama this our fight is not about two of us now i know this fight is not about you at all this 10 year old fight is not about you i have found out in the volume of the books that there is something about my destiny man of god hear me find comfort why is satan attacking my ministry i will tell you why it is not because of where you come from where you come from is just the obvious answer not the right one i can tell you some of you now begin to look at your life and see all the happenings and see that that roaring lion has been tracing you and saying till now you have not gone down can i tell you this do not cry about all the stories of pain in your life now god is interpreting the writings on the wall the disappointment the shame he fought your marriage he fought your children you lost your child you lost everything and you are wondering to what end is this now i bring you the word of the lord he wants dominion and he wants transgenerational allegiance if you will fall down and worship me that business i will give it to you can i tell you this look up please look up please unfortunately painfully unfortunately there are people today who could not stand because they do not know these truths and they do not have the weapons of victory they said satan i can't go through this i will go back to you and they had that agreement they are some of the celebrities we celebrate around the world today they know what they did you don't know it but they know that is why in spite of their fame there is no joy they already know their doom is defined that's why the money does not prosper them that's why in the you see how miserable respectfully speaking some of their lives become in the midst of all the glamour because they know that there is a covenant please hear me some of you right now satan is about to tempt you and he's using financial issues he's using marital issues he's using health issues and they have called you from the village come back remember what we said we will bath you near the river and that's it just bathing no it's not about the water a river does not hurt people there is an allegiance please hear me let me encourage someone as we pray for the sake of those depending on you don't give up don't give up some of you are crying 
listen to me i'm very serious for the sake of your family members if you give up who else will help them are you not seeing their state that's why god sent you to koinonia here for those of you following that's why he said Krakata a reed out of fire. Only a sure you reign forever. To your kingdom, there'll be no end. Only a sure will reign forever. Please look at me. What if Reinhard Bonke gave up? What if T.L. Osborne gave up? What if Billy Graham gave up? Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Can I tell you this? Please look at me, brothers and sisters. This is a word from the Lord. This is not just a deliverance series. You need to go back home and listen to this thing again especially this part what is satan really looking for you are wrong if you think it's your marriage you are wrong if you think it's your health what is it about the cancer and the fibroid and whatever the genotype issue no none of those things there is something he's looking for please look up we're wrapping up please look up in our nation here and many parts of africa when kidnappers or some of these evil people are looking for people what they do is they try to look for somebody or something dear to you is that true they catch your child or they catch whoever and then sometimes they will now make you to hear the voice of your child and when your child that you gave birth to says daddy please don't leave me like this you can give up that business and say what is business if my child is in the hand of someone and all of a sudden you bring your everything so what satan did was he studied everything dear to you he found out your assignment is dear to you your family is dear to you your business is dear to you and he fashioned an attack hear me now that it seems like he's collected the business he's strangling the business like the voice of that child and making you hear it daddy will you leave this vision like this daddy is this how this family will be without a child and before you know it they say there is somebody it's not exactly evil but we will go to the village he said we should bring a chicken we should bring one granite oil we should bring palm oil we should bring a knife and bring some kinds of things some of you god brought this message to help you because you're on your way going there now be careful can i tell you this desperation is satan's moment the moment satan finds a desperate individual here he comes i spoke to you 10 years ago you didn't listen 10 years later are you willing but only a shoe will reign forever to your kingdom two prayer points prayer point number one please pray it from the depth of your heart shout this loud after me everybody say father, father. one more time say father, father. in the name of jesus father. i come by the blood of the lamb and i decree and declare that no weapon fashion against me fashion against my destiny shall prosper lift your voice and begin to pray no weapon no weapon against my health no weapon against the work of the lord committed to me no weapon someone pray no weapon against my children no weapon are you praying 
against my job my career my spiritual life Every spirit around your life is on assignment. The spirit of death is on assignment. The spirit of infirmity is on assignment. The spirit of failure is on assignment. They don't come on their own. They are sent by an adversary. Hallelujah. Please look up. I know we've not begun to discuss deliverance proper. But let me use one scripture and we pray. Now thanks be to God. Which always causes us to triumph. Thanks be to God. Can I tell you this? Believe me when I tell you that he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Amplified says is really and unquestionably free. Free from curses. Free from yokes. Bondages of darkness. Are you ready to pray? Say Father by the blood of Jesus the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things than the blood of Abel I dissociate myself from ancestry I dissociate myself from covenants I dissociate myself from activities of bloodline and inheritance I declare that I have been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation i am seated with christ lift your voice and begin to pray resist the devil and he will flee resist him and they overcame them by the blood of the lamb and the words of their testimony pray oh hallelujah worthy is the lamb to receive honor and glory victory in jesus christ victory by the blood victory over causes victory over altars victory over yokes victory over activities of ancestry Victory. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. That was slain. One more time. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll and the elder tapped me and said weep not the lion of the tribe of Judah even the root of Jesse is worthy and I looked upon the throne and I saw as it were a lamb that had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes which were the seven spirits of God my background does not have to be a disadvantage over me 
because my grandfather was a herbalist my grandmother was a herbalist i don't have to suffer the consequences of yesterday there is a bailout system for me because upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possession give jesus a big hand clap Give him a big hand clap of victory. The lamb that was slain to receive glory and honor and power and riches forever and ever. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Now please listen very carefully. Please listen very carefully. This is a deliverance series and i'll be giving us a lot of assignments please trust god for grace and discipline yourself to do it hallelujah i may not compel us and give us a lot of things but let me just choose a day of the week let's say thursday discipline yourself to fast at least we'll be doing it even if it's just once a week the weakest person here can fast at least one day thursday you are praying let me encourage you this is something you should do please beginning from now till all through from your 11 o'clock till 6 o'clock choose any one hour and blast in tongues praying in the night please discipline yourself you will not die mean business with your destiny once and for all for god's sake are we together if by now you don't see the importance of this spiritual exercise then i take it that you are not really some of you in these moments of prayer you will be surprised the things god will open your eyes to see you can play any koinonia message you want some of you can choose 12 to 1 11 to 12 pending on your schedule maybe even earlier just discipline yourself to take any one hour flog it out with destiny you can add your worship you can dance like our dear sister did please just obey instructions and see what will happen to you i assure you you will share testimonies here that you will marvel and wonder and let me encourage you don't keep quiet there will be enough time for testimonies as god is helping don't be silent whenever you come for koinonia don't wait until it is announced right at the, you can go to the media stand or the pr desk and tell them i have a testimony is burning within my spirit i'm not teaching you things that are, are lectures this man standing before you was a victim of attacks you've heard my stories as a preacher of the gospel spirits were oppressing me not many people will be honest to tell you this i know what it means to be free indeed <laughs> hallelujah hear me all these spirit husband spirit wife wicked demonic spirit seeing yourself in secondary school writing exams that never finish in an old house dead bodies that have gone calling you back don't worry this is the series that will bring this thing to end once and for all in your life before i make the altar call let me challenge you please please do well to invite your family members to be here or to at least connect this is not just some church thing god is in a business of bringing liberty there are pastors who are watching and following there are people who are following from across the globe this is not something to be silent about you can sow this seed of even giving someone the teaching and say please listen to this all these myriads of problems you are saying god is giving you perspective tonight god simply started with us by answering the question why why the assaults of satan it is comforting to know he was created it is comforting to know that whoever created him can destroy it is only what does not have a beginning that does not end if satan had a day of creation it is comforting to know a day will come when his end will come and prophecy has gone ahead of him hallelujah the greatest deliverance is the translation from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son 
many times believers do not take altar calls serious please listen to me rejecting jesus and rejecting an altar call is still part of the strategy of satan to keep you bound there is every legitimate ground he has over your life if the blood has not opened you up to that new and living way there are hundreds of people thousands and potentially millions across the globe listening to me you know that you need jesus some of you are here right now in this auditorium all the overflows to the basement outside our zaria family our global family you are here and you know that jesus is speaking to you you are saying apostle i'm tired i need to hand everything over to jesus some of you the devil has destroyed your family members killed everybody caused sicknesses don't just go back and think this is some church thing he wants to give you a new beginning there are others who are saying apostle i remember giving my heart to jesus but as it is right now i need restoration and i need rededication i'm only going to count one to five those who are in here and around the vicinity you can come outside you can move to your your led screen zaria family our global family you are in your house right there you can make this decision i'm going to count one to five please win that war i want you to come and join this gentleman who is already standing are you ready celebrate them as they come one don't be afraid come to jesus he can give you a new beginning koinonia is this the best you can do jesus is calling them come unto me all ye please stand for space all ye that are weary and heavy laden and i will give you rest apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved can i still come absolutely come and join them young and old male and female come to jesus it's time to end this for the sake of your life some of you by coming here your children will thank you when you are telling them the stories of the background you came from if you came from a family of witchcraft let a godly family come out of you if you came from a family of idol worship let a family of righteousness come out of you hallelujah whosoever calls upon the name of the lord the same shall be saved god is no respecter of persons thank you for this bold decision for all of you who are out those of you who are following from your homes your churches following by way of television jesus is giving you an opportunity right now don't reject him it is costly to reject jesus the bible says when he the spirit of truth is come he will convict the world of three things of sin of righteousness and of judgment let me encourage those of you who are in front here please if you are joining them quickly come quickly come lift your right hand and say this after me as loud and clear as you can say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i need your deliverance from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son right now i believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification I believe that you defeated sin Satan hell and the grave and you gave me the victory I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that from tonight and forever I am a child of God washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backward never amen. amen keep your hands lifted thank you jesus there is no man who can draw men to you except your son father we thank you you have drawn this man the bible says no man comes to the father except through jesus the son and we thank you because they have come and they have made this declaration and Lord, I declare by the authority of Scripture that their sins are forgiven. By the authority of Scripture, I call you recipients of eternal life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I commend you to the ministry of the Word. 
and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be established may you be grounded you go forward ever and backward never and if there is any demonic thing standing your destiny right now by the power of the holy ghost i decree and declare in the name of jesus satan you had their declaration let them go now in the name of jesus christ let them go now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god you are free and free forever in jesus name i pray amen and amen let's celebrate jesus now please all of you i want you to move to our counselors they are waving their hands please move to my right which is your left help those under the anointing let's celebrate them as they go just a minute or two they'll have your details and you'll be back hallelujah praise the name of the lord thank you for your patience just one or two announcements all workers all workers this is announcing that um on saturday the 12th of march saturday the 12th of march we'll be having our workers retreat the time is 10 a.m in the morning the venue is doa so please all workers heads of department take note all workers will be having uh, we'll, we'll try as much as possible to make it as brief but then it's important it's compulsory for all workers all workers here in abuja please do well to mark your calendars the time is 10 a.m on saturday the 12th of march praise the name of the lord the series continues next sunday remember we're fasting thursday all of us the global family were fasting and praying and um just look to our social media platforms there would be a prayer um prayer point or two just to guide you and make it a rich time you can fast six anything from four you can feel free to break children can fast till maybe 12 or 2 it's even good for their health it doesn't kill so let them fast the only people who are exempted from this fast are pregnant women pregnant women don't fast we're fasting for you in the name of jesus and then those who are sick sick with medical report don't allow the devil cheat you from this spiritual exercise praise the name of the lord hallelujah have you been blessed let me appreciate everyone for taking the time to come the lord bless you the lord increase you in jesus name please rise up on your feet as we share the grace i decree and declare that the lord will bless you this week beginning you will see the wonder working power of the spirit you will begin to have testimonies from this series already in the name of jesus christ may the lord honor your faith may the lord honor your persistence these egyptians that you have seen you will see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ now together let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore Amen. God bless you and see you on Sunday. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray, pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and the The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.